Hello again. On this video, we're going to talk about databases. On this specific video, we're going to go to developers. And here we have the MySQL database option. Just click on it. And we should be redirected to the PHP MyAdmin. Here, we just select our database. Don't worry about information scheme. Just select your database here. And you should be able to see these tables here. These are tables. If you already know about database management, then you can skip a few things here in the video. If not, I really, really recommend going to YouTube, going to the MySQL.com site, etc., and learning about the different commands used on the MySQL. In regards to the structure of the of the tables used on the Brilliant Directories um, platform, there is one special one that I want to talk about, which is called Users Meta. Users Meta is a let's say it's a special kind of uh, table that actually relates to all other tables used in the system. So it, it works in the following way. Here we can see the, the meta ID. This is just a normal ID we see in different tables. But then we see another column called database. This column actually represents the relation the user's meta value, in this case, this row, has with another table in the database. So for this instance, the subscription types table would be related to this row here. I'm going to explain how this is related in, in just a moment. The next column, the database ID, is used depending on which table we are relating it to. It will be the ID of that specific uh, value or row in that table. Next, we have the, the key, which will become a column on that other table like in this case is description types and then the value for that column so the way this works is when you use any of the variables or functions in the system they actually when you try to query something with them in the database they actually call the the table you're calling in this case let's say you're calling the users data so they will actually call the users data and then check in the users meta if there's any users data value right here in the database column if there is then the information here will be concatenated to that uh, users data table in, in the following way the database ID will be the ID of that user and then the concatenated columns would be found here in the in the key column this will be the names of those concatenated columns that will be put together joined with the user's data and then the values corresponding to them. So in this case, in the subscription types, we can see here subscription types uh, 4. If we go to subscription types, here we have it. We see that there's 1, 2, 3, well in this case there's no 4 so nothing will be concatenated there but if we had a 3 here for example all this will be instead of 4 will be 3 like in this case we got 1 here then all of these values will become columns will actually become columns on the subscription uh, types table when when it's pulled when you call it from from the system so you would, you would see let's say let's see here we got a structure here and we got how many we got 51 okay we got 51 columns in the subscription types table and that would be joined together with what around 10 10 12 uh, new columns that will be concatenated to the subscription types table followed by the values each of them will have and this number right here this 4 it's just the way uh, the user's meta would relate would create a, 
a relationship between the user's meta information and the ID used on this table. In this case, you got the subscription ID column as the first one. So this one here will have all the columns. You can see here all the columns up to revision timestamp follow by after the revision time zone, you will start seeing these columns form high initial amount high monthly amount etc okay they will concatenate to that to that to the columns existing the in the subscription types so this is very important to know and why does the user's meta work this way because of the following when you're developing uh, something additional to any page, uh, to the to a widget, to a membership feature, to anything you actually want to add functionality to. The first thing you think about is, okay, let, let me create the variables, the names, uh, the, the, the namespaces that I'll be using uh, to store X amount of information. And then let me create the queries to bring that information to the database and from the database and then use it somewhere else. So the user's meta actually saves you time from doing everything, all that that I just mentioned. How? In the following way. When you start working with custom variables, they automatically get stored depending on the form you use to, to, to store them. They get stored on the user's meta and they they get the uh, in the database column they get the value of the of the table they're relating it to so for example if i try to edit the listing contact here which is actually a form that that talks to a user's data table then the user's meta knows that if i add a custom value here it'll be stored in the user's meta but the database column will have the value of user's data so that the information knows that it actually relates to the user's data uh, table. So let's let me give you an example. You can you can see in action here. So let's add a, a new field. Here's the important part: the variable name. So let's add um, let's say um, a developer, and let's put here um, developer knowledge or programming knowledge or whatever developer knowledge the field type is gonna be just you know text simple text there we go is it required no but just for this example it's not required let's put it underneath uh, first name last name company and there we go we're gonna put it there okay so we got a new variable a custom variable a custom field here with a variable developers Let's save this. Let's go to any of the members. Yeah, let's go to um, Tom Brandon here. And we go to contact details. And what do you know? We got the developer knowledge here. So let's start writing stuff in there. Uh, PHP, MySQL, uh, Golang, I don't know, Ruby, Python. JavaScript there we go and let's save this okay there we go we just saved that information there if we go to the database now let's go remember developers MySQL database select our database select our table in this case users meta and we're gonna make sure that we're looking for um, the new variable we just added. Since the new variable, uh, the name will be stored here in the key column, okay? Because it's gonna be a new special virtual, let's say, a virtual column on the user's data. So let's say, select everything from user's uh, meta. Let's put here a short name where database equals we're looking for information related to the user's data and 
is equals the variable. I mean, sorry here, the variable name is developer, developers, or I think it's developers. Sorry, I forgot. Let's just verify this really quickly here. And there we go, developers, developers with S. And there we go, that's it. That's all we need right now. What do you see here? Ah, we see one row, just one row. And this row tells us a lot. Tells that, tells that this row belongs to the user's data, will be concatenated to the user's data um, table. This row belongs to the user with the ID of 20 in the user's data. Uh, the com that will be concatenated to that user's data table would be named developers and the values it contains are this and while well, the rest here is just the revision timestamp and more information there but you can see that this way the user's meta actually expands on any of the tables that already exist in the system so we have a way of saving the information okay now how we can retrieve the information for example I added the information here in the contact details using the form okay now I want to uh, view it for example on the uh, public profile if I go here I don't see that information hmm how can I edit that information here so we can go to the form manager again click listing contact here and search for listing details we can see a whole bunch of information here but we're gonna add that new uh, variable here so we can actually visualize it let's say programming languages now uh, text input okay we drag this down here put it like around here require normal pop 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 and let's say that and go to Tom Brandon again and now we've just extracted we just send and receive the information just by editing a couple of forms you can see we're calling the information here now you would say okay but what, what happens if I don't want to call it right there I don't want to edit a form okay here you have a another way of uh, manipulating the information let's first go to the admin view so you can see the, the bar here the admin bar and let's um, let's put the information right here okay we're gonna put it there customize that edit this and we're gonna play around with a uh, two variables. I don't know which one calls what, but let's play with both. I don't know which one will bring that specific information. So we're going to just call user first, just to make sure which one brings that custom new information. Uh, I don't see it here. I don't see a PHP. Oh, there we go. See that? we just got the new information so we can just you know uh, create something like this uh, in H not in H let's put it like a little paragraph here and let's say programming languages okay let's put that bold in there let's put it here also and then just simply leave a space here print that variable there the array put the name of the variable we have and that's about it let's test this now let's see if I didn't make any mistakes and if I press a 5 I should see the information right up here
nice huh now we just need to like position it correctly any way we want but you can see how you have two ways of actually bringing the information from the database pulling the information from there you have the using the variables you have already seen in previous videos in this case um, we're using the user array and you have forms uh, no uh, another here nice uh, way of pulling the information and putting the information in the database so with this we finish with the users meta table and a little bit of uh, the variables and how the database works I hope you enjoyed the video Good luck and have an excellent day.